Okay, welcome to this new video. This video is going to be whether you should buy Telos now or wait. Okay, first of all, what we do, what do we see that Telos has done? Telos has pumped a lot recently. Okay, and we have spoken about before that we don't like to buy coins that have pumped. We like to wait for them to drop, and then we can start looking for them to pump again. Okay, this is going to help you guys get rid of the FOMO in you because everyone, you know, whenever they see a coin pump, they do get excited and they do they do want to get involved, but they don't realize that you know it is already pumped. Okay, the, the likely chance of it continually pumping is significantly less than what it was before and a lot of people don't realize that so you know they end up just diving into the coin and just buying an appreciating asset when they don't realize that they should be buying it when it's depreciating okay that's one mistake that a lot of people make they just keep on FOMOing and whenever they see an asset going higher they just put their hard-earned money into it and then they, they start to question themselves oh wait it is now dumping what shall i do and they don't understand that if they literally just uh, waited for the price to um reach their prices or price levels that they were interested in then they would have saved themselves a lot of money okay now a lot of people don't realize that however in this video i'm going to i'm going to show you some few techniques that you can do in order to incorporate it and allow you guys to make the most out of your money and uh, potentially um help you guys grow within the ecos ecosystem right now so First thing I want to talk about is potentially dollar cost averaging. Okay, I have gone through this. This is kind of like a trend that I like to do in my videos. I like to go through what dollar cost averaging is and how it is very, very useful for you guys if you guys want to dive into a coin or um, get involved in a coin that, you know, has not really had a major dip at this current time in press. So, <coughs> dollar cost averaging is basically getting involved in a coin and having a specific allocated amount for it and um having a regular payment for purchasing that coin okay so what i mean by this okay i'm just going to bring up my notepad um give me two seconds okay what i mean by this is having a specific allocation for a cryptocurrency okay so as you guys can see if you go throughout the past month we'll be able to see that um telos you know pumped a lot from like around the 0 0.5 0 0.6 area so what i would personally do if price gets to between 0 0.5 to 0 0.6, I would be looking to be a buyer, okay? Okay, what I mean by this is if I have a specific allocation, so specific, I'm just going to make it more neater, specific, oops, allocation, of thousand pounds I would spread it okay I'll spread it ten times every week so this will allow me to buy this will allow me to buy it around five no and ten times okay so that's pretty cool allow me ten times all right so because we can buy it 10 times now, okay, we can literally have a span of two months and a half of where we can be a buyer of Telos. Okay, so if the price is between 0 0.6 or 0 0.5 between that price, then you can put £100 every week, you know, and uh, forget about it and just leave it there and you know you can dollar cost average into the cryptocurrencies that you'd like this doesn't need to be applied on just telos this can be applied on many different cryptocurrencies too okay so don't think this method can be applied on just telos this method can be applied on a lot of cryptocurrencies out there okay so if you are you know interested in this coin this is something that you can do because it has pumped a lot recently so you want the price to go down a little bit to get involved in it and yeah this is a method that you guys can incorporate in your uh, buying and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and peace